All right, guys, welcome back to episode two of season two, Farm 22. A lot of twos. Um, <laughs> so last episode, we finished everything. We actually have crops that are done over there. We got chickens and stuff, started to get some John Deere in here. We ended up leasing a cotton machine. And while you've been gone, I did this. So you got two sheds. This one's actually a decoration shed because I was dumb and didn't read into it. Um, This one, however, does have gear in it. We're kind of storing our smaller vehicles. Oh, no, I want to get that light off. Oh, it's even got outlets and stuff. Why didn't they finish it? Oh, why didn't I finish it, I guess? So, this is where we're keeping our kind of smaller uh, around the farm equipment. Um, so, we got our uh, utility vehicle, our other utility vehicle, and then our old farm tractor in here which we could have left over there but it's nice over here so we got a job to do they're kind of slow um we have cotton that needs harvesting over there i think those are the only crops that are all set you guys don't need to see that yeah only crops all set they're almost done we'll see how much we sell the uh cotton for and uh, determine if it's worth it. And if it is, we will most likely plant cotton throughout, or mostly throughout. Um, yeah. So let's get this thing. We're going to need to like take that off the road. Alright. I've never done cotton before, so I'm a little like iffy about this. I don't know why this... Oh, we parked it over to keep it out of the way. But now it's in the way of other things. We also need to mow the lawn again. <laughs> Technically, in-game, it's been like a month or whatever. So it's like, yeah. Lawn definitely needs it. So we'll just kind of park this guy like right up at the end here. Like right here. Until we need him. Let's go ahead and jump in our favorite utility vehicle. And get this guy... Out mowing the lawn. Um. So yeah, we'll see how much cotton stuff sells for. It's supposed to sell around three thousand dollars per thousand liter. I don't know how many liters the field is, but we will find out. Um. Oh, I guess we could have brought the track trailer and done that instead. Um, right now we do have wheat in there, which isn't the best, to be completely honest. Camera. Totally worth the money. I'm actually really happy, and I'm going to keep planting cotton. I feel like we make more money off of just a little bit of cotton than the rest of soybeans, to be completely honest. So I think we're going to keep sticking with our good old soybean, or our good old uh, cotton, and I just bought, replaced the machine we had, because it also does, um, a little bit of soybean, so I think this one still does soybean, uh, corn, sunflower, soybean, and then it, we have our sun, our, uh, cotton, so we're just gonna load this thing up, and then we're gonna probably use it on that field, uh, we're also gonna harvest all the soybeans that we have planted, and, uh, go on to planting this all in, all but one field will have cotton. The rest will have soybean. It's just backup money. Because if this... Oh my god, there's so much. We might also have to replace our tractor. I also bought more seed for our our feed for our chicken. So we're going to have to uh, <laughs> grab that. I need more. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and load all this stuff up on... Load uh, the... Um, um, uh, the <laughs> chicken feed on the back of our utility vehicle again. Then we're going to go ahead and uh, drop it all off until it's full. Um, the guy's planting more um, cotton right now. To be honest, he's not doing the best job, but we're not going to get into that. Um, let's see, I kind of like this because I can do that. Yeah. And then I technically don't have to go down. I can just hook on like this and it'll pick up, I think. Alright, well, we got them all loaded up here. 
I'm curious how our buddy over there is doing, because when I drove off, he was awful. Um, he was, like, all over the place. Oh, oh, I didn't strap stuff down. There we go. Not that it really does much, but, like, you, oh, he's doing much better now. Like, he missed big patches over there. Yeah, look at that. Big patch. Oh, we're going to go this way. Or I'm going to hit you. Didn't think you were going to back up. What are you doing? Oh, he's going to, yep, just let me move. Yeah, so he's going to redo this. I'm going to have to redo that part. Then get it all rolled out. And then it should be time to harvest it out there soon. I love this little thing. We also are looking really good on eggs there. I want to sell what we have soon. I don't know how much of this actually fits in there. We'll find out. <laughs> We're looking good so far. Oh. Did we hit the max? We did. Oh. Okay, 21. So... The max is 9,000, right? Right, cool. Good to know. So now we'll just kind of put this into storage there. Uh, we'll just... I'm going to drive it in. I don't feel like backing it in and then... Oh, God, I need to mow out here. <gasps> God, God. <sighs> wow, that was close. All right, let's see if I can do this. Oh, come on. <laughs> Gotta wait for the steering wheel. There we go. Such a close call. Yeah. So I gotta come through the other door. I think I'll just do it in the first bay then. Bay one. So this is the big cotton truck loader thing. It loads two bales of cotton in the back of this. I thought it used a trailer, as you guys might have seen last episode, if that part was recorded. I can't quite remember. That giant thing... Hold on. This giant thing makes the big cotton balls, and they come right in the back of here. I just thought they loaded in the back of the trailer. Nope. Prove me wrong. Oh, I said I'd put these away. Didn't I? Y'all, why do you guys make those colors? And why do they change? I'm curious now. Let's see what's going on in here. Oh. Alright, we're looking good. How you guys doing in here? Oh, really? Thank you for that story. Um... He's got plenty of food going on in here. Oh, they even got the big loaders. That's kind of cool. I don't know if you guys can actually get out or not, but... Cool. Let's... Oh, the back of that. Oh, All right, let's grab the Silverado over here and load them up. See if we can get the pallet in the back of the truck. Come on, let's go. There we go. Come on. This old thing wants to retire so bad, but I'm not ready to let it go. All right, here we are. I don't know what we got to do to... There we go. Uh, $3,400 for that, and that's not bad. That's not terrible at all. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's good money. I'll take that. I won't fight about it. Um, I went up the wrong turn the first time and almost went off the side. Uh, that's not us. We're up here. Next one. I love this truck. Though it definitely does not like starting up. And also, I think it's got a turbo. 